welcome to Traffic. Here I am presenting you a model question paper for class 10 computer science half yearly. The marks will be 70 and chapters 1, 4, 5, 6 and 7. I am not sure about pointers whether it is coming or not so I have not added the question from that chapter and I have tried to make the question paper in a pattern that uh, 30 marks is objective means only one marks one and the 40 marks is summative so let's start the paper here first uh, mcq choose the correct answer you have to choose the correct answer you can pause the screen and you can see the questions after that number two fill in the blanks you can try the questions yourself and if you find any difficulty to find the answers you can write in comment section i'll solve the paper okay after that number three do as directed you have already got this one it's like true and false only it will ask whether the following statement are true or whether the following statement are false Accord according to that you have to write the answer like question a state which of the following statement is true about array so what Whatever statement is true about that, that statement you will write as an answer. After that, question number 4, these are the 1 marks answer, 4, 12 questions are there, each question contain 1 mark. These and questions can be answered either in one word or one sentence. So you can see the answers from, uh, you can see the questions from here. After that, again, I have added 5 marks questions. These are totally application based, means not learning one. If you have understood the chapters, then only you can answer the questions. So here first, uh, two valid example of IP address. Then number B, it's about connectors and ports, means uh, how many ports you can edit, uh, how many computers you can edit to a hub which have 16 ports that some calculations is required if you know how to calculate then you can easily answer it and after that number c which type of loop you will use if you want to continue as long as you want and number d if we don't write increment or decrement what happened what happened the loop starting variable will be never changed so the condition will be never satisfied that's why the loop can run infinite time then the last one if we want to store multiple values in a variable what we'll do you know only and after that these are two marks questions here i have given uh, 10 questions so these are two marks questions and after that four marks questions might be there might be three marks questions also but i have not added so exactly the pattern will be not this one i have already informed i have already said that the question pattern might be a little different because the book is new one so i even i don't have that much idea what type of question pattern will be but uh, pattern might be like this only there will be four marks five questions and here maximum questions might be related to programming that write a program write a strategy why this work why this not work write a program to pattern like these questions so these are the questions i hope uh, you know all the answers if you don't know you can write in comment most of the questions from exercise only and only a few especially the objective questions one more questions are from inside Thank you for watching. See you in a new video. Till then, take care and bye.